Hey everyone, Aaron Spalsbury here at 3X Logic. Today I'm going to show you a neat little feature that's built into the uh, the client as well as the server here, and that is the ability to pull both the mainstream and the substream as well as the rapid stream from the DVR. And of course, I'll give you the the definitions and what all this means here. Uh, so I've got a couple a couple of camera shots here pulled up. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to this one in the upper right hand corner, and I want you to look underneath the image here. Uh, obviously, we've got a couple statistics: how many frames per second, how many kilobits per second we're actually using. Uh, of course, in an H.264 compression and I am requesting the maximum from the server itself however let's say that I didn't have enough bandwidth to actually support this type of camera stream well, what I can do is I can toggle back and forth between the mainstream which of course is the high definition stream and the substream on the camera now the substream is going to be a lower resolution stream typically because it's lower resolution it will also be a smaller file size meaning it's going to consume less bandwidth so I'm going to go ahead and kick this guy over to a substream you'll notice the M then turns into an S as well as uh, you'll notice that there's a little bit of uh, image degradation there. Of course, that's going to happen because it is a smaller resolution stream. I think most cameras nowadays are typically 640 by 480, somewhere around there, but most of these are also user configurable. Now, that's well and good on all of these cameras that have this built-in dual streaming functionality, but what happens when you have a camera that doesn't have substreaming capability? In fact, this one here in the uh, number one position, uh, in fact, doesn't. However, what we can do is we can take this input into the DVR and then have the DVR essentially make a pseudo substream. What it's really doing is it's transcoding the image, basically uh, taking all of that large information, compressing it down, and giving us a much, much smaller file size. So in this case, I'll go ahead and kick this guy over to rapid stream. You'll notice that the image quality kind of degraded just a little bit, but more importantly, what we've done is we've lowered our bit rate considerably as to what uh, any of these guys are pulling uh, through the network or, of course, uh, out to the client software. And that's really one of the greatest features about this is it doesn't matter what type of band bandwidth you have, you can always be rest assured, uh, you know, obviously if you have a low uh, bandwidth scenario, you can get really high resolution images, you can also get very fast images, and of course the ability to toggle back and forth between the two. That's essentially it guys, thanks, this has been Aaron Spalsbury at 3X Logic showing you how to uh, bounce back and forth between substream, mainstream, and rapid stream on the server and the client here, uh, we'll see you on the next one.